Hi everyone, this is Ian Robinson and welcome to another episode of Ask ZBrush. Today we're going to cover a question that came in, how can I delete the internal mesh of a model that has been hollowed out? So today's question is asking us if we could take a model that's been hollowed out before or a model that we may not have undo history available to us and deleting the interior mesh so that we can have a solid object once again. So first things first, how do we know if our model has been hollowed out before? There's a couple ways that we can check. If we hold Control Shift and select the Select Rec Brush, and we go ahead and just select a portion of our model like that, we could take a look on the inside and see that our model has interior mesh. Another way that we could check to see if our model has been hollowed out is if we go down to Display Properties and flip our normals. And as you can see here, we have a model that has interior mesh that we would like to remove relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and unflip that. And now that we have our model ready, what we're going to do is we're actually going to show the wireframe by hitting Shift F or coming down to Polyframe right here and turning that option on. And in order to remove the interior mesh from a DynaMesh or Decimated model, we first need to go up to Polygroups and select Auto Groups. By selecting Auto Groups, it's going to look at your model and any mesh that is not directly connected or welded to itself is going to give it a different polygroup. As you can see here, my polygroup has changed. So by holding Control and Shift and tapping on the mesh one time, and then holding Control Shift once again and sliding on the blank canvas, we can see here that we've now isolated our interior mesh from our exterior mesh. So we can go ahead and swipe back, hiding the interior mesh, going up to Geometry, Modify Topology, and Delete Hidden. And now if we go down to Display Properties, and flip normals once again, we can now see that the interior mesh is gone. So for our last example, we have a model here that's been subdivided. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the polyframe. And as you can see here, if we come up to geometry, we have six levels of subdivision. In order to isolate the interior mesh, we first need to drop this model down to its lowest subdivision level before continuing with the next step to isolate the interior mesh by hitting auto groups and then deleting the mesh. So let's go ahead and drop our model down to subdivision level one by grabbing the slider and sliding it all the way over. Now what we can do is the exact same process. We go to polygroups and we go ahead and hit auto groups. Now if we go ahead and hold control shift and tap on the model, and if we control shift swipe on the side, we can see here that our model had isolated the interior mesh. We're gonna go ahead and hide it once again. And now we'll go back up to geometry, modify topology and delete hidden. Now that the interior mesh has been deleted, what's really neat about this is that if your model does have subdivisions and if you delete hidden on a portion of your mesh, your model still retains the subdivisions it once had. So we can go ahead and slide this back up to subdivision level six. And as you can see here, our model retains not only the subdivisions, but also the look of the model. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified each time we upload a video. And please continue to send in your questions to hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.